What's up, Carlos? What's up, coach? Teach me grappling. Maybe not grappling. So people want to know, Carlos, how do you get these things? Well, I'm not giving away my secrets. Come on, man. Do it for the channel. For the channel. Yeah, what, what's going on here? Because, yeah, like, you gotta, like, if you look at me, I mean, I'm pretty massive, but... I, I, don't, I honestly don't feel like I'm big. Honest to God, I don't feel like I'm a, a big dude. Somebody asked me just yesterday, okay. how do you get like a body like Anton's? And I was like, Anton? Well, first, step one, get born in Russia. <laughs> step two, eat a lot of fast food. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. No, no, but they, I think what they mean is like, how do you get like built like a truck? I mean, you look like kind of like a like a truck. Truck. How do you? I, I don't feel like, like it, but okay. Tell tell me about your diet, and tell me about like what you do. First, a little do? background. Okay. I got to give you guys a little background. Um, the number one reason that I started getting like this was uh, watching uh, Schwarzenegger movies and uh, Rocky movies. Okay. When I was a little kid, Rocky movies and Schwarzenegger. Did you guys you, get you that? Get, that's number one. Watch Watch Predator. When uh. When they shake hands, Dylan, you mother, and they're like, <laughs> you know, you know what people are talking about? Yeah. And then they're, they're, they're biceps are like, is that with Carl's, Carl Weathers? Oh, Carl Weathers. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, I was a little kid, you know, I was like, damn, I need to get me some of those. And so, so you, that's got, number one. So you watch, got inspired. Watch, yeah, watching movies. Inspiration. Watching movies. Okay. And, and then, then and uh, how were you when you were a kid? What, what did you look like? What did your build look like? I was always, uh, as a little kid, I was always in, because of the movies, I was always in push ups, sit ups, and pull ups. And my dad is naturally, like, my dad is naturally really buff. My dad did, like, uh, labor. So I, I feel like I got good genetics. My dad is really buff. What he's so, trying to say is, it's hopeless. Oh, uh, no, yeah, you do need genetics. It's all genetics. I'm going to be like this forever. And, um, but, yeah, but, probably. But Not you it. can alter the genetics these days. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, no. Let, but let's say that we have somebody out there and they, they want to work on it. We can all get better. Okay. So what do you do? So you said when you were a kid, push-ups, okay. pull-ups. Okay, okay, inspiration. That, that, that. Okay, go well, I started doing that, but then uh, once I got uh, like a 17, 18, I was really into like the bodybuilding. So at that time, um, I was lifting like really heavy weight. Real heavyweight, like I would do three to five reps of the heaviest shit I could lift, and also like I was eating a lot. I would eat like um, in the mornings, every morning, I would hard boil like ten eggs, ten egg whites, just the egg whites, ten egg whites. I would eat that. I would have a lot of protein shakes, and then my mom's cooking. My mom's cooking was not the healthiest, but it was always like a lot of protein, like steaks, yeah, beans, and rice, and lots of calories, fueling your body, yeah, fueling my body. And supplements. I always took. I've always taken creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate does help. They say that shit don't help. That shit does help. I took some creatine back in uh, like my, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old. You guys may not believe me, but Coach Brian was kind of swole back then. I wasn't quite right there. Right there. Look at that. Zoom in on that. No. No. Look at those arms, dude. No. No. Look, look at that. I, I was skinny. I was actually skinny there. I'm only 136 pounds there. So at least at the weigh-in, I was 136. Actually, I was probably 145. But the, the, the point is this. I actually, he's right though with the creatine guys. I know there's some people out there that may not like it. They, you know, they, say, it's, like, say, it's they say it's like water bloating, you get yeah. bloated, you're all you, bloated, but it's not true. It, it's a fueling of the cells in your muscles. You're, well, all I can say, I'm no expert, but I used that when I was younger, guys. I got swole immediately. I was drinking tons of water. It's a lot. Yeah. Whether it's water in my body or not is the reason why I'm heavier and bigger. I was lifting more weight. Yeah. Yeah. I was throwing up weight. And, and you were recovering faster. Yeah, I was recovering it. fast. Yeah. I was like amazed that I could like bench press and then like put the bar down and just be like, let's go again. And let's go again and do more and more and more. So yeah. I have a personal experience that does. So what else? Creatine? What I've else? always done creatine, protein, like pre-workout, pre-workout just to get you like motivated, get you up. Like after work, you don't want to do nothing. So so, so, so basically drink a bang. 
Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that does. It, it, that shit ain't good for you, but it does help. It ain't good for you, but okay. So all right. So and then like yeah, like a lot of protein. Like, and then what you said, heavy, heavy weight. Heavy weight. Yeah. Like I don't do that anymore. I used to do heavy weight, and that did help me get really strong. And I, I don't, I haven't lifted heavy in, in years now, but I feel like I've kept uh, a lot of the strength when uh, we train and roll. I still feel real strong. Now I do a bunch of light, lightweight. Now I do all light, a lot of rest. You're, you still retain tons of your muscle mass. Yeah. And But you know what else? A lot of guys, they look at the bodybuilders and they always go, it's not functional. Like it's all muscle. Yeah. But they would get gassed out and tired out on the yeah, map. Yeah. But you don't. Yeah. It's, a, you're, it's, you're, a, it's a balance too. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't only lift. I, I do bike rides. I jog. I do hiking. I do, I like doing the, what's that one, that, that bike, the, the row machine. I love the row machine. I do the row machine a lot. So that stuff like dust and um, when, uh, you also gotta have some cojones. Um, when you feel guys, you can hear, you feel it when you're going with another guy, you feel them getting tired, you feel them breathing hard. When I hear that, when I feel that, you're like, it's, it's, time, it's, time, to, it's time to kick it another notch. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's perfect, yes, exactly. Good advice. Now, what about, how many years would you say it took you to get from the time you were 16, 17, 18-ish? I'm, I'm kind of getting back to the, yeah. you obviously weren't looking like this at 10 years old. No. So, at some point, what was it, like 16 when you started real serious? When, we, when yes. did you get serious? Yeah, like 16. Yeah. So then, how many years before you reached your, your peak of, I know that at one point you yeah. were probably bigger than you are yeah. now, but... What, how long did it take you to get big? To get it like takes, a truck? It took till I was mid twenties. That's it, crazy. See that? That's effort. Yeah, like dedication. Well, like, that too, but I was never really like. There would be times where I would take time off. But like uh, when I was like 23, 24, I felt like when I was twenty three, twenty four, I felt like I was a really good balance. And then I um, when I was like twenty. When I joined you at Big John's, you would tell me I was really big. But now I'm bigger than that. Like, but it's a lot of fat. Back then, I was. I had, How much do you weigh now? I'm like 192, 193. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You're. Are you taller than me? Let me no, see this. I'm not. Really? I'm back, bare, to back, back to back. I'm 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 barefoot right now, so he's got shoes. Who's taller? About even. So you're taller with shoes on. Maybe I'm a little bit taller if you took the shoes off. Yeah. And You're a little taller. But I am heavy, guys. Like, I used to walk at 145, and I feel like I'm the same, but I'm actually way heavier. I'm like 162, 63 right now. So, yeah. Yeah. You're like, easily got 20 pounds on me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even good. Like, uh, I haven't been in here in a long time. All I do is like... Uh... But he feels like he's 50 pounds heavier than me. With his, your, your strength level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You feel, feel really I, I, strong. I do feel, yeah, I do feel my strength. I do. Like, uh, no, I, I think it's only, yeah, it's not, I'm not trying to shoot. You stuff, are, you are, like, you are a little weak bitch. <laughs> no, it's like, uh, like you gotta be explosive too, right? Like, if yeah. you're just strong, you're just like, yeah. But you gotta be able to like, boom, boom, like explode, yeah. explode out of it. So, what would you say, how does your strength help you uh, in jujitsu? Um, when do you really notice it helping you? When I'm trying to, I feel like when I'm trying to wiggle out, wiggle out just like pushing out. It, it, you're kind of doing like bench. Some of these things are like working out. Like you're kind of like bench pressing. Yeah. You're kind of, you're kind of like uh, like shoulder press. You know. Like <laughs> sometimes you know like. A, when you're lifting someone, when you're passing guard. When Comment down below if you've rolled with a guy and you're like. All day long, I'm getting bench pressed and shoulder pressed all over the place. You're getting, you know, down here, you're flipping leaves. Yeah. You're curling, curling, boom, passing, you know, like yeah. lunge, lunges, you know, you know. Here, can you come, shoes. here, come out of the mat. Like, it's all right. Here, like, just kick off the shoes. And then, looks like you just clean the mat, so. Right, we won't, here, just stay right here. Right here, you're right here, boom. Right right this is a back workout, boom. Yeah. Back workout. <laughs> Come here, pull. Yeah, you're using your legs. That's how you pull. So I could just. No, he's gonna... I could just. If I had more mass, 
I wouldn't need the knee shield. No, you just you bench, just bench press. Bench press. Bench press. <laughs> now he's got my back. <laughs> Here, you, you, you go, you go, you go. So, let's see. A lot of times, when guys lay on you, you just position so like, yourself. So I, I can make like right, right here, right here. Give a little bit, and then you, oh. yeah. and he gets that under him. Now I'm here, yeah, now I'm here. Once I'm here, I feel pretty good. So, okay, so. Now what, tight too. What's now, the, now the, I'm curling. Now I'm curling. Yeah, strong. Like, yeah. I can't get away. He's got my back. And then I'm, he's gonna put, oh. You're gonna go, do you go for the leg lock or do you just get yeah, I can, I can. You could? Okay, now what about those arms when it comes to submissions? <laughs> so see, this is, now I'm gonna use my leg. Boom. Boom, and, and, and then you're arching or what? Yeah. What do you do? Oh my gosh, this guy's so strong. Well, what if what? I boot? Show me how strong you can do it. Don't break my leg, but try. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no. So yeah, so like, the thing about, when a guy is this strong, like, you're so strong. Right. I'm not saying you can defeat anyone. But it but does help a little. Even, <laughs> a little. it does help. It does help. And you know, think about these poor guys out there. Like this guy behind the camera. <laughs> they, they, you know, they, they have like skinny limbs. They, they like, they have no experience of what it's like to be you. Like if they could live in your body for a day and do jujitsu, they would probably be like, dude, this is crazy, push. I don't need, he's like, yeah, he's like, I don't need technique anymore. He's, he's got all the technique. I have no fucking technique, you know? Like, he's you got do, all the technique. You do have technique, though. <laughs> you're not just a big dummy. I mean, you're good at jujitsu too. So, anyway, it's just interesting to like talk about the dynamics. Because you're, when's the last triangle choke you got on somebody? Probably, yeah. It's been under a year. I've done it. You've done a triangle yeah, choke yeah, with your yeah. legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was in the morning class. Oh. Was, he, he was a new guy, though, but I got it. <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> you got it. All right, so what's your best top three techniques? Built like this, what are the moves you look to? Uh, North-South. North-South choke. Kimura. Kimura. Um, and let me see the third one. I've been like either the either the much it. either the scissor choke. Is your legs? Get, yeah, the scissor choke. Because you got those strong yeah, just, legs. Yes, or uh, or an arm bar from or an arm bar. You have arm bars. Yeah. From what position? From the, like if I don't get if I get on side control like uh, I'm fighting the Torah. What's your arm bar? It's just like from. Uh... Oh, my right is here. All right, hurry up, hurry up, so, hurry up. So when he's here. So you get a Kimura grip first. Yeah. So, so I'm here. And the guy's defending so, the Kimura. So I'm coming, he's defending. Uh, no, 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 it's not coming, it's not coming. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's gonna do that. Oh, he's fighting. I'm way too strong for you, bro. I'm way, way, way too strong. I'm way too strong for you, boy. He is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Strong. <laughs> strong. Wrong. <laughs> hey, you're like, you, you are so strong. Yeah. I'm just a little bit stronger. <laughs> Guys. Teach me grappling, quick like, share this video. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go home and ice my elbow. And uh, I got a line of protein coming out. It's called, uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Be back more next time with more great stuff.